Wait a minute. What's that? Bro, 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 bro. Hey guys, you don't have to wait to NG Plus to experience Wukong's dance. All you have to do is to equip Jingu Bang and full Wukong armor in the Stone Monkey and Great Sage fight. Not only that, you get this as a bonus dance permanently once you have unlocked all relics three times. I'm sure most of you who have tried Wukong stance know that you can do a massive four focus point charge attack. The main character launches himself into the air, does a 720 degree spin that smashes into the enemy. Your light attacks now have a bigger range of attack. However, while being in Wukong stance, you don't get to switch stances. In fact, all stances are mixed into one. So in this guide, I will go through all possible combos, discuss the difference in damage, stats while being in Wukong stance, how to activate Wukong stance in the fastest way possible, and optimal builds to utilize Wukong stance better. Before we go through each combo, did you know with Wukong stance you do not need any focus points for a see through? You can do it non-stop as long as you time it right. As for normal Destiny 1 stances, you will need at least one focus point to perform a see through. When attacking in Wukong stance, including heavy attacks or charging your stuff, your stamina does not get depleted. Your stamina only gets used if you are doing a steel pillar or dodging. The best thing about Wukong stance, you do not need any sparks allocated into different stances to perform them. Being in Wukong stance, you get 25% attack bonus and 25% damage reduction. Last but not least, if you cast Pluck of Many, your clones will not copy your charge smash attack while being in Wukong stance. Without further ado, let's quickly have a look at the 6 basic combos. The first one would be holding LT while moving forward, let go of the directional input, then hit heavy. You'll perform a range attack with this one. Light, then heavy, you do the same combo as your smash stance. While in an actual fight, you can add a heavy finisher to all of the combos by pressing another heavy attack input at the end. Light, light, heavy will be thrust stance. Note that the second poke animation requires no input. Three light stand heavy to go into pillar stance. For light stand heavy, you go into pillar stance's steel pillar, which you can also hold onto heavy to charge. You may also mix all combos into one and finish with a steel pillar. Here on the screen are possible combos to be mixed and matched. Please note that most enemies will start reacting around your third input, so be prepared to dodge to continue your combo or you may start with a see through in order to have more time to complete your combo. So, there are two ways to activate Wukong stance fast without being dependent on Ring of Fire. The first one would be utilizing mobile spinning. Don't be fooled by that small bar. That last stretch of charge is equivalent to about 3 focus points. The other way is to take enhanced ginseng palette, then take the normal one. Not the other way around. If you do that, taking the enhanced version will stop the focus regeneration effects of the normal one. If you have Ring of Fire equipped, step out of the ring before it fully charges, because the game does not allow you to activate Wukong stance via charges from Ring of Fire. I highly recommend at least equipping Earth Wolf as your spirit, so you'll be able to charge your focus about 20% faster. Together with Amber Prayer Bits, you charge about 25% faster. As for Curious, Gold and Bruise, you may look at the screen for your reference. These are my recommendations for players who use spells with Wukong stance. If you're a Spellbinder enjoyer, that's a way you can increase more attack and crit rate. Before using Spellbinder, equip Spike Shaft Stuff, change your spirit to Go Eye Taoist, equip Jinseng Cape, then equip these Curios. 
3 Thunder Flame Seals, 1 Back Scratcher, and a Preservation Orb. Go to your inventory and use your Talisman. You should be able to see your HP, Mana, and Stamina increase. Now switch your Preservation Orb to another Back Scratcher, then drink your Gold and activate Spellbinder. Go to your inventory and swap everything you changed back to your main gear. Doing it this way, your spellbinder buff will be much higher compared to just using the spell without gear swapping. As for the final build, you may look at the screen for your reference. Just a recommendation, feel free to swap anything out as you please. Before we wrap things up, my last tip is you can have your Wukong stance pre-charged before going into a boss fight. Your charge will be carried forward after the cutscenes. That's it for this guide. I hope this guide will help you understand Wukong stance more and if you have any extra tips that I may have missed out, feel free to drop me a comment below. I'll see you guys in the next one.